Hey, what's up? Uh, I'm going to be making a tutorial for Elevator Clip. Um, I'm not going to cut anything out, so any of the fails I have, you will see in the clip. Um, I will probably fail it several times. Um, a little tip, though, for Elevator Clip, and most of this is going to be about the clip itself. I will briefly touch over everything as well as a full skip run through. But um, I think the most important thing is the clip. That's what most people struggle with, what most people will call inconsistent. So when it comes to the clip, uh, you want to make sure that every aspect of what you're doing is as consistent as you can make it. So that would be how you walk into the corner, how long you walk into the corner for, how many times you tap W, how you tap W, everything. You want to be as consistent as possible. Um, just because obviously the more consistent you are with every aspect of your setup, the more consistent the results will be from the setup. So what I like to do is I like to walk into the corner kind of at this angle. And once I'm in that corner, I will tap W twice. That is just what I like to do. It may not even be necessary. That is just the way I like to do it because it is the most consistent way I have found for me to do the skip. So I will walk like this. I'll walk into the corner, tap W, tap W. I would use spook here, but you obviously don't have to. You can wait. And then my lineup, um, I like to put this corner of the ember icon in the middle of this little line. So it would look something like this. Okay. And then I will hold Alt, which is my walk key. I will tap W. And what I look for is that my right foot, the heel of it, is in this thicker line how it is now. And if I have that, I feel somewhat comfortable. Um, I did just move my camera, though, so this might not work now. We'll try it. Uh, probably won't. It did. Perfect. So, yeah. Uh, the inputs for the Storm Roller, you're going to do um, on controller, it would be right trigger, left trigger, um, and then you would hold the walk key W and A. Um, basically, just the storm roller heavy attack, parry, storm roller heavy attack. Uh, you do not have to hold any directional input um, in that. The storm roller's momentum will move you forward. So, again, I like to walk into it like this tap W, tap W. I would use spook here, turn my camera around, put my health, like my ember icon like that, tap W. I want to be a little bit more further forward. This might be too far forward, but we'll try it. Normally, in a run, I would actually try to correct that, but. Uh, as far as I can tell with the way I do the skip, um, it's better to be a little bit further back than it is to be further forward. So if that happens again, like this should be perfect. Great. We'll do it a couple more times. Perfect. And once you get here, um, as you can see, you can do this with practice school tool as F8. You can see the collision. Here, it's kind of hard to get around this bend. So most players will do a jump here. And the way I like to time this jump is when I'm sprinting, once my character starts getting pushed by this wall, I jump into the wall. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain. I'll do it like once or twice so you can kind of see. So I'm getting pushed by the wall. I jump into the wall. Um, so again, running. The wall's pushing me, I jump into it. Once I'm here, you should if you cast Spook on the elevator and you weren't too slow, you should be fine here. But I'll three cast it. I kind of walk at this angle. So I don't run, I don't go directly from this ledge right here, and I don't go from further over here. I like to kind of just be positioned like this. It, it's just, it's pretty lenient. And I put my head, so I'm walking straight for this part. And I will hold the walk key for this. That's just how I like to do it. And a little, quick little note, some people um, on the quit out coming up, their menu will buffer or pause or stutter uh while i'm falling here i like to double tap the start button or i guess escape whatever it is uh if you're on pc or not uh just to kind of get rid of that buffer so this quit out's easier up ahead so here this is another little tricky spot for a lot of players um right here you can see this collision of this wall right here makes it a little hard to continue on this seam so a lot of players will do a jump here um however a lot of players struggle with this jump uh, and I have the way I like to do it, which is a cursed lineup, which, of course, that's how I do things. And what I look for is if you look here, you can see this sort of divider on this pathway. Each of these pathways have this little texture that kind of divides it in half right here, uh, like right next to where I'm standing. You can see I'm like where my right foot is. And what I like to do is when I get there, I will jump left and I kind of aim myself to jump at this pillar. You don't want to jump too far left because if you jump too far left, your character will spawn in like this 
and the stand-up animation will actually push you backwards and you can fall off. So you don't want to jump too far left. So I like to jump like that. And that would have worked had I quit out, but I'm not going to quit out for the sake of time. So like this, that would work. Uh, it's a little hard to do this from a standstill on the controller. Like that, that would have worked. And if you want to try to get the no quit out, you just have to qu jump a little bit later. But it can be a little bit cursed, and I don't really like to go for it that often. But just like this, uh, you can even aim more left if that makes you feel more comfy. Like that would work. I know some people do some like cursed backstep stuff where they like line their head up with the pillar and like do a backstep or something. But I don't really like doing that. Uh, it's super free this way. You can just, just, yeah. Um, so yeah, I think that's most of the skip. Um, here, one little tip I like to add in is I like to use keyboard for the seam walk here. It just, it makes life a lot easier. Uh, I will go through the entire skip one time just so you can see how I would do it in a run. And I think that should suffice and cover pretty much everything. So hopefully we don't fuck this up and we can do it in one take, but I wouldn't be surprised if I make a mistake. And this is where a practice tool really helps because it just makes practicing things like this way better. So again, so this is a little bit further forward. It will not work. I'm almost positive, but I will go for it just again to show. I did. Per oh, that's surprising, but okay. All right. I actually fucked that up. We'll go through the skip again. I blame the cold hands. <laughs> And this should work. When I spawn in, I will hold W on the keyboard as well as spam cast spook. This way I just get a little bit of movement. I'm not having that awkward moment where I'm standing still. So I'll be holding W in like that. And like I said, I do this on keyboard. Fall off here. And that's how I like to do it. So hopefully that helped. Um, of course, I did fuck it up several times. But at least you got to see what mistakes look like. And you will fuck it up. That is the nature of any skip in this game. But hopefully... Um, yeah, hopefully you, you walk away with something from this. So, yeah, thank you.